Okay guys, today we're going to uh, talk about a concept in, in all of our systems under Soul Fighter, uh, Soul Fighter Umbrella um, is the theory of flow and how we actually move in and out of techniques and why we use the concept of flow. Uh, some people have said through comments in, in, on, on YouTube and Facebook saying that it's, you know, we're trying to practice a sequence of moves. Uh, yes, it is a sequence, but the sequence is based upon the flow of combat and, and, and understanding that is what actually makes the way we train and the way we teach a little differently compared to uh, other martial arts systems. Nothing wrong with the way they teach. Trust me, I've been taught by uh, many of those martial arts systems and enjoy their teaching philosophy. But based upon how we've been teaching at, at Sean and I schools, uh, as well as Formiga and other people, as well as John Lebo, and Mike Simon out in New York, their organization is kind of teaching by flow and then plugging things in together. So let's kind of use a basic example. Let's just, uh, I, I hate always using this example, but let's just use a haymaker as a reference. So Sean throws that haymaker punch. Perfect. So. What this punch is giving us is really based upon what I want to do around this arm. So I think about my pathways initially. If I come through the hole, I can go over the arm, I can come underneath the arm, I can step around the arm, I can come to the other side. So there's a lot of options that are given off that one thing. So from that option, uh, we go into a certain entrance or a certain sequence of events, a uh, certain sequence, se sequence of techniques that we call flow. So let's go from uh, that, that punch again. So we're going to talk about our frame, our frame one, which is this position. We, um, I have a couple of videos that I will either link uh, below or that I'll actually put in, in a video for you guys to look at yourself that goes into some of the theory behind the frame one. Uh, John Nebo from uh, the Soul Fighters Track Attack on Arm System uh, has a great video description on that. So we'll go with our, first we'll go to frame one. Now let's just stop right here. Now what can I do? A lot of times I can either go, I, have, I think about where this elbow references. Because the way I'm built compared to Sean, I have a couple different options of this. First, I could drive right over the top. We think about going for an overhook control position. But we can always add interrupts on our flow too. So maybe it's an elbow smash here. Maybe it's a hammer to create some space. You gotta start adding knees, back to hammering. And from there, I can start choosing which throw or what option we wanna go to. From what we call that as a W3 entrance to an overhook control. You know, we have our Osoto sort of Gary, which would be a, an outside leg reek. I'm not gonna take Sean down, but we start going for the Osoto sort of Gary. We can start coming underneath for the Ipan Nagi. We can start locking it off for the knees, passing it off. Uh, we can go for low level takedown. There's a whole series uh, of, of techniques that you'll see in the tri tac Jiu-Jitsu system that go over just the underhook. But let's say Sean throws another punch. Now we're coming underneath. Well, now what series of events do I have here? I can come through there. I can attack a knee knock. I can go for a Weechi Gary. I can swing transition back to the throw, uh, to an Ipan Nagi. I can even go back to my El Soto Gary, uh, just off the white belt chart. So there's many, many different options, many different ideas what we can go through once they give us something or once they give us a certain attack or certain energy that it causes, uh, it causes us to respond. And then we, go, we work on a specific entries, which would be that W3 entrance, that, that frame one entrance, just working off of this, what does that give us? Or maybe he's attacking uh, and I try to come lower, well that's another entrance which gives me his back control. So we start with an entrance that's based upon what energy he gives us. From that entrance, we then flow, transition to, the, to a variety of different techniques based on what our body does instinctually and naturally. And that's kind of a really big piece of the puzzle is letting our body do the work or letting ourselves flow through the combat uh, that just things happen naturally because that's the way they happen. Uh, and how we do this is just 25-ish years, 30-ish years of experience of Jiu-Jitsu plus training with our, you know, for me, some of the highest level guys uh, in Jiu-Jitsu in the world that we start understanding a really strong sense of how the body moves. I consider Jiu-Jitsu almost a study of body mechanics and the flow is kind of the result of that study is what we could do that's with that with those situations. So uh, that is kind of a base understanding of the tri tac flow. There's a little bit more to it, but I hope from this understanding you guys can see uh, how we actually move, how we think, and why we do certain positions and certain, uh, and certain techniques. It's all based, on theory, based off of theory. Thank you guys for watching the previous video. I appreciate it. Uh, please like, share, find us on Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Help us uh, grow this awesome thing we're doing so we can put more content out like this. See you guys soon.